Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL Query Training Session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL Query to identify reverse pairs in our data. So reverse pairs simply means that you have two columns in which you have got some values like 1 and 2. So the reverse pair of 1, 2 is going to be 2, 1. So we need to identify them in different situations. For example, one common situation would be when you are generating a match schedule. So a match between England versus India is same as a match between India versus England. So so we need to identify these kind of situations and eliminate one pair. I'm going to be working with the coordinates table. This table we have already used in another video tutorial where we learned how to sort the column values. So this is the same table. It has got two columns X and Y. Now if we take a look at the data, there is a pair called 4, 2 and then there is another pair value called 2, 4. So these are going to be reverse pairs and I want to identify them. So what we need to do is simply perform a self join on this table and then we can identify these kind of pairs because there are two columns which we are interested in. We are going to join between these two columns. Let's see how. So to perform a self join, it's simply a join on this on different instances of the same table. So I'm going to call this instance A and then I'm going to perform an inner join with the instance b of this table now what is essential here to understand is what are what are the keys on which you are performing the join so let's just select a dot x and a dot y as our values first and then we can perform the join so the first thing we need to understand is that we are identifying the first value or the value from the column x and i'm going to match it with all the values in column y and see if there is a match so the value the value 4 appears here in the second record it also appears here in the fourth record so i have got two matches over here so to identify this match simple we write a a dot x is equal to b dot y okay because i have two instances of the same table so essentially we are saying we are combining one instance of this table we are considering x column from that table combining it with the y values okay where it is going to find two matches now because this is not truly a match it is not a reverse pair so there's one more uh, matching condition that we need to write because we also want to match the values of the y column with the values of the x column so that is what i'm going to say that the value of the x column matches the value of the y column and the corresponding value from the y column matches the corresponding value from the instance b of the x column so what we are saying here is that and a dot y is equal to b dot x that is a situation in which we are going to get a true match okay let's execute just this much part of the query and let's see what we are getting as a result so now we have got some matching pairs we have got the actual reverse pair which is 2 4 and 4 2 which is right we have also got a value in which both the values are the same for x and y which is obvious but it is not a reverse pair because there is only one value for this column it's not actually a reverse pair that we are looking for so now we need to identify just one of these values we need to pick only one of these reverse pairs so we need to add another condition to eliminate one of these two values okay one of these two records now that condition is basically going to be an inequality condition so i'm either going to select one in which the x value is less than the corresponding y value or i can select one of them where the y value where the x value is greater than the corresponding y value so any of those two this would always be right it would always be correct if it is a reverse pair then one value is going to be greater one value is going to be lesser because there are two uh, values and there's a relational uh, equality or inequality between them which we can measure saying the greater than or the less than operator even if we are comparing uh, alphabetic values or string values then the these operators greater than and less than operators would work to identify an inequality so it could be anything as i said you can either say that a dot x is less than a dot y 
okay now we are considering the same instance of the table we are not saying a dot x is less than b dot y okay because we are not going to another instance we are not comparing it with another record we are comparing the same record so this is the same record i am saying that i am going to select a record where the value of x is going to be less than the value of y and that would in turn eliminate the second record where the value of x is greater than the value of y so it has to be on the same table so now if i execute this I will be left with only one record. Now, as I said, this could also work this way. So it could be India versus England. You want to retain India versus England, or maybe you want to retain England versus India. Okay, it could work any day, any way. It means the same thing, right? So if you want photo, if you want to retain the uh, record which has the greater value in the X column, you can use the other greater than sign. Now, one thing to note over here is this is not going to work. Is not equal to a dot y. This is not going to work. It is going to return both the columns for you, okay? Because they are not equal. That we know, okay? the value in x and value in y is not equal so to eliminate we have to identify a condition that will be able to pick a distinct record okay so in that case this condition or this condition will be true for only one record of these two records and that would help us in picking a distinct record so this is how you can write a query to uh, identify reverse pairs of data in your table another classic example of the self-join now if you are interested in self-join there are two other examples that you can look into for self-joins first is identifying a hierarchy a hierarchy could it be an employee manager hierarchy it could be a family tree so we have already done videos on all those i will be putting the links to those videos as well another example of self-join would be uh, to identify any overlapping date ranges so when you want to compare between two records of the same table then that is the application if you are from the data warehousing background then overlapping date ranges for slowly changing dimension type 2 they are a big trouble so that is a common example in which you would be using the self join again we have already done a video on that and i will be putting the link for all those videos so you can have some examples for the self-join so this is how self-join can be used in multiple scenarios i hope that you found this video useful if you did then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and we will be posting many more videos soon thanks a lot for watching goodbye